Hello everyone and welcome back. Welcome to another crafty decor adventure. Olivia here with Olivia is Romantic Home. In today's video, we're going to be decorating my entryway for Christmas. So I have this big, beautiful arch that I found at Hobby Lobby, as well as a really pretty table here. And I have a couple of slim Christmas trees, again, all from Hobby Lobby. So we're going to just go ahead and decorate up a storm. I'm going to challenge myself to use what I already have. I know I have some leftover ornaments. I have some leftover ribbon from my big tree. I do a big tree in my living room. So that is my challenge. That's what I always kind of try to challenge myself and you guys to do. Use what you have. So if you guys love that, subscribe to my YouTube channel, punch that bell, I'll update you every time I post a new video, and follow me over on Facebook. We're having a big time over there. So without further ado, go ahead and grab your ribbon at Creativity and let's get to decorating. <laughs> Okay, it's time to make a quick little bow for this smaller tree that's by my entryway. I'm just going to take the ribbon, measure it from my hand to my elbow, and then loop it over on itself. So this is just so super easy. This is such a quick, easy little way to make a bow if you don't have a bow maker or you just want to make a quick little bow. So you're going to do that until um, you get two loops on each side. So sh you should do that about four times. And then you wanna find your center and just nip it a tiny bit in the center. You don't wanna break through your ribbon and this part is totally optional, but this will help your bow fluff out. And I always do try to recommend that you use a good wired ribbon. Although this ribbon I thought said wire, but it really didn't seem very wired. It was really kind of tough to fluff out. Um, but anyway, just go ahead and give your bow a good fluffing and then you can put it onto the top part of your tree and then just kind of zhuzh it and ridge it around. <laughs> you take the branches and cross the little branches over on themselves and then kind of flip out the, um, the loops and that's going to be your bow fluffing. So this is like the key to what I always tell you guys to making a really big, beautiful, nice bow. The next thing I'm doing is taking another set of ribbon and looping them over on themselves. And this is kind of this candy cane ribbon. So I'm just gonna tie this off at the center and then pop that into the center of my other larger bow. So I'm also taking this piece of ribbon around the tree to kind of give it a little bit more stability. And you wanna kind of try to get it in there um, where you know, you can't see the ribbon so much. So it was a little bit tricky here, but I ended up using the branches and then I made curly cues with the other pretty little ribbon. Next thing I'm adding into this tree is some deco mesh. So this is just some Buffalo check plaid deco mesh and I'm going to pop this into my tree. Now I got this during the fall season, but they have a lot of really pretty deco mesh at Hobby Lobby, Michaels. Um, you can even find some at Dollar Tree. They usually sell a lot of that pretty quick, but I'm just gonna take the deco mesh and kind of wind it into the tree just to fill it out a little bit, give it a little bit more fluffiness. And I only used one little loop of deco mesh. I just kind of wound it around the front of this tree and then pulled it back to the other side. So this um, particular mesh is kind of full and fluffy and this tree I believe is only like maybe a four and a half foot 
entry. I don't know, it's really small. And then it's also up on a table next to my entryway table. So then once I've kind of cascaded it down, you kind of want to make it look like almost like it's like a waterfall effect. And then you can kind of just give it a zhuzh and a rouge. And there you guys have that. And I really wanted some of the tree to show a little bit more this time. The next thing I want to do is take some of this ribbon and I'm just tying the ribbon to the top and then I'm letting the ribbon cascade down either side of the tree and you can just let it hang all the way or you can kind of push it into your tree. I kind of played around with this actually quite a bit to really figure out how I wanted it to look and that can be a little bit tricky. Um, so I did like a cascading waterfall effect first and then I ended up just kind of doing it more to either side of it but really I think both one was really pretty. It's really just kind of up to you and how you want things to look on your tree. Now I'm taking the pretty ornaments that were left over from my Christmas tree, my main Christmas tree, and I'm popping them on to the smaller Christmas trees. I actually even still have a couple left over. I need to find some little hangers. And then here's a fun idea to do with leftover ribbon. You can just take the ribbon, loop it over on itself, and these are just scrap pieces of ribbon, and then tuck them into your tree. And that's gonna kind of fill things out. And I did that with several different pieces of these larger and smaller um, pretty pieces of ribbon. And I will tell you also, I think I forgot to mention at the beginning, but this ribbon is from Hobby Lobby. It's not wired. It's kind of a little bit flimsy, but I thought it was so sweet. The little um, burlap and check really got me. I just felt like it was a little bit of a different take. And the next thing I'm adding is this beautiful garland. Oh my goodness. I also found this at Hobby Lobby. I got one of these last year and I will tell you that they are really, really, really messy. Oh my goodness. You guys are so pretty, but they make a mess. Now at Hobby Lobby, I also found this pretty little white fluffy it's kind of like a yarn tree skirt and I decided to add that to the bottom of each one of my trees and I'm sorry for Benji Bear barking he's being crazy Last thing I added were just some pretty little stockings on either side of my mirror. And I thought that made a really nice little simple touch. And then these giant oversized elf legs. And this is my dance. Even though it doesn't seem like these two trees that are rather small, the entryway table were a lot, they were a lot to get accomplished. And then here is Benji Bear. And he is just chilling out, having the best day ever, hanging out with mom. He actually has to get a bath tonight. So apologies for his scruffiness. I missed his grooming appointment. But here is how it turned out with both of these um, beautiful trees on either side of my entryway table and then I have the pretty little mirror now that mirror did come from Hobby Lobby and then just those stockings on either side and then underneath this table this table actually folds out which is really nice I'm gonna leave it folded out just for the holidays I feel like we have extra stuff all the time um, and then there's a bunch of books underneath so I love to collect books and these are a lot of books just really from the thrift store but I just think they make that kind of nice cozy feel and then of course I'll add some candles and then our family photos back behind um, the garland greenery there I need us to get like and take some really cute little Christmas family photos um, and I am going to try to pull together um, a Christmas home tour for you guys hopefully very soon although I still have my outside to decorate so many spaces in my home to decorate but you guys can keep an eye out for that so 
as always, I ask that you guys comment and let me know what was your favorite part of this video and which part will you be recreating if you're doing any ribboning on your tree? Are you working on your tree yet? I love to hear what you guys are up to. Also, don't forget to comment down below. Just be positive in these comments section. I just love positivity and goodness and love being spread. Um, but yeah, so also pop over to my Facebook page if you guys want to share little photos of your home decor and DIY projects that you're up to over there. I love to see what you guys are up to. And thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you like um, kind of my, my little peppermint country girl tree. That's kind of what it reminds me of now that I'm looking at it. It just seems so sweet. And um, these colors just really warm my heart. I was going to go really glam this year, but I have so many of these pretty ornaments and I just really wanted to use what I already have. And, you know, I collect so many things at thrift stores and garage sales along the way. It just helps out so much. So the majority of these ornaments are from a garage sale and some thrift stores. So anyway, thank you guys for being here. Um, I love y'all so, so, so much. It's truly a blessing and honor. I hope you guys got a kick out of my decorating and I hope you guys are inspired to create some cozy, fun home decor at your home. I think even just some little touches here and there really brings the holiday spirit into your home and I know your loved ones will really appreciate or you know even if it's just you popping into your home you know it's going to give you that really fun little just spot of holiday cheer that we all need at this time of year so have a gorgeous blessed day thank you guys so so much for being here and I can't wait for our next video and I'll see you later bye